Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, welcome to this week's um, house renovation vlog. Um, so if you haven't already seen uh, the other video was, you know, of the start of the journey. So, um, you know, I've, there's a video where I show you around the property and then um, I think there's an, another video of us starting work and I think this is the second uh, vlog where um, we're starting to pull everything out of the house. Do you know what I mean? I could just sort of blank canvas so we can then start putting things back in. Um, so yes, it's a, uh, you'll see in this video um, a lot of things that we've didn't expect, a lot of things that we've uncovered, which um, we were hoping would not need doing. <laughs> But um, yeah, so there was um, there was a lot of surprises, but um, not pleasant ones. <laughs> so anyway, you'll see in the video as I go along, guys. But um, if you haven't already been here before, I'm Elaine, and uh, the house is my daughter's house, and uh, they've bought it. They knew it was a bit of a fixer rubber, but um, it's proven to be a little bit more than what we expected. But it's fine, you know. It's nothing that we we like can't manage. But um, it's just going to maybe take a bit longer than what we like first anticipated. Yes, you'll notice that Alice is there in the video, um, but Alice wasn't there like all of the time, you know. She was only there like for a very short period um, because obviously the house was, as we started pulling things apart, you know, the, you can appreciate there was a lot of dust, a lot of muck, you know, and obviously we couldn't have a baby there, you know, when it was like that. But when it was just me and Emma pulling up a, like a bit of flooring and things like that, it was fine, you know, that Alice was there because it was just like us taking up laminate flooring um, and there wasn't like any real dust or anything like that. But um, yes, Alice did go home and Alice probably won't come back to the house now until it's finished you know she probably come back and it'll be like a new house for her so guys i'm just going to jump in and show you what we managed to get done last weekend right so we've um i've took all the bedding off around the edge so we can get the floor up and then um, i've started pulling it up from this section here and underneath we found these tiles these kind of terracotta tiles um not sure I think about them, but we're going to um, pull pull the rest of the laminate flooring up and uh, and have a look at them and you know see where we go from there. They possibly are going to have to come up because uh, I don't think Emma likes them, do you? Emma? Emma's on the other side of the camera. Then. Um, I'll decide once I can yeah. see them all. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to have a look. But um, yeah, we just I mean the laminate's pretty easy to pull up, I guess. Yes, if I'm removing it and putting it on the pile um, to go on a skip. <laughs> okay, so I'm just taking these tiles off the wall here um, and I'm going to take the tiles off the wall all the way around. Um, but also we're going to, well, we've tried plugging the jigsaw in to cut the bench back to here so we can get rid of this cupboard, but there's no electrics. The electrics are working, they're not, they seem to be unsafe in the house. So, um, every time we put it on, the RCD keeps tripping, um, and it's tripped two times in a row, and it really shouldn't do that. Um, so, yes, we're going to have to investigate the electrics, we can't use any power tools. So, hence, I'm just going to take these tiles off the wall and just do things that doesn't require power tools, really. So um, I've got some goggles on to protect my eyes, gloves on.
Thanks, nice work. <laughs> Why is everything the wrong ones are falling? <laughs> Oh, guys. Oh, okay. I'm coming up a look at this, guys. And we're we'll bringing you around here. So, as you can see, the cable wasn't even channeled into the wall properly. And it's actually stuck on the back of the tile. I mean, how bad is that, guys? That is so, so bad. I mean, this cable should have been inset in the wall. It should have been clipped in, for one. You know, we should have had some cable clips on there. And then this should have been skimmed over. And then the tiles put on. So I was finding all sorts of things like this with this house. And, um, yeah, it's been, you know, there's there's been every cowboy in town in this house. You know, every cowboy builder or DIY fanatic has been in this house. <laughs> Right guys, um, sorry I did see that this should have been tied in like this with uh, cable clips. Should have been in trunken guys, plastic trunken should have been on this. Um, you know, keeping it in the wall and then that should have been skimmed over, like plastered over. Um, and then the tile should have been put on top of that. But this one is far enough, there's a gap as you can see where the, the tiles has been. But this one... If you can see, the back box is practically hanging out. So this back box here hasn't even been anchored into the wall. And it's just, yeah, it's not been actually screwed in and fastened to the wall, which we're finding quite a lot of that here, um, where things haven't been fastened or, yeah. Um, I think it's always the case when you, um, when you start working, you find like more and more things need doing. It's like a rollerball, a kind of rollerball, you know, almost like a domino effect. Um, and it certainly is in here. It's like when we're trying to fix something, we're finding something further. So we can't do that until we do the something else. And it's literally like stripping everything back to its core, to its like very basics. And Emma is quite upset by it, that's a, but um, you know, it's like important to stay focused. It's important to um, see the end result, you know, it is going to be beautiful when it's finished. So, uh, yeah, we'll crack on. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> Time for a bottle. Right, shot the balance in the front time. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Do you want a bottle? Alice. You 
can sleep through anything. Okay guys, I do apologise if the quality of the video is not, is not up to usual, but I am uh, recording on my phone. Um, I forgot to bring my camera around. So yes, um, I don't know if I've already shown you this, but I've cleaned out these cupboards, um, thoroughly cleaned them, you know, and disinfected them. Um, I mean, you, you, if you remember what they looked like, you know, they've come up okay. It's just to store some drinks in there and cleaning products just to kind of keep things together Um, we've just bought like a dish and a kettle um, just whilst we're working here this this will not be Emma's like jumper it's just because it's probably going to get like basically destroyed so rather than you know, I destroy our nice new matching th things, which is shoes, things. We've got a mop bucket and a mop in the corner. Um, I've got that unit there, which I need to take outside. I was using that as a step. <laughs> um, we found some gloss paint, which we thought might still be okay, and we might use that. We, we, we don't know. Um, so um, this cupboard is totally gone now. It's just like, uh, well, the door's off, the frame's all out. Um, that was took out yesterday. The shelves, I took those out. Um, so yes, that needs all um, blocking, blocking off. Um, in the living room, here. Um, so yeah, not much has changed. The bathroom suite's still down here because it's the safest place for it. And you'll see when I take you upstairs. But my jobs for the day are, um, I've got an outdoor job to do. Um, one of the jobs is pulling out this fire surround and the hearth and the back plate. Um, okay. Um, sorry, I thought that was somebody coming here. Um, yeah, so that's one of my jobs. And my other job is outdoors. Um, I have tidied up the garden outside, but um, I'm not going to show you that. It was really massively overgrown with weeds. Um, but... Um, I'll just give you a quick look. So this is fault fake grass and all of the block paving had weeds grown up through it. And um, I've just tidied that up basically. Um, up the stairs, uh, the carpet's been removed. I don't know if I included that in the last video, guys. I'm losing track because there's so much work needs doing. But we'll go up the stairs and I'll show you the progress. Well, it doesn't look like progress at the minute, but it, it actually is. I mean, this is the windowsill on the hall. And this, look at the muck. It just kind of shows you what um, what's, um, what's coming, doesn't it? But um, the muck... Sorry, that's David hammering. The muck is because we've pulled the ceilings down. This is the loft hatch. Um, and this room, which is uh, Alice's room. It's going to be Alice's room. It has no um, ceiling anymore. No ceiling at all. Um, there's a random pipe there. Hose pipe balancing on the joists. Um, so yes, the lagging has all came down. Obviously, it's all over there in a huge, huge pile, um, which is no good anymore. We need to put new lagging in there. I mean, it'll give you some idea. Look at that muck. Look, this is just years and years. Look at that. That's came out of the ceiling. You know, I just muck. Just, yeah. I mean, you can see the muck on the, on the lagging. So, it's... It's been coal dust, you know, these were coal fires in these houses. Look at the muck on the skirting boards, guys. Now I've got to clean all of this up. But um, David still has to... What's that hesse in there? The old hessian sacks. They're up there. using them as insulation, God knows how many decades ago. Yeah. I mean, that does at least have some modern pipe lagging on. But the views these hessian sacks as um, pipe lagging. Um, I did notice some steel pipes, David. Um, over here, there's some steel pipes because said Relayton was, you know, steel pipes back in them days, so they look like they're still currently being used. Sorry, they are at the moment, yeah. So these are currently in use, these steel pipes. And what we find is steel kind of expands and then it breaks. And um, my house used to have steel pipes in, so we're going to be replacing them with 
copper pipes which is a much better material what's not going to expand and then crack so in in my own house um what what, I, what happened with me was i decorated the first room in the house it was and uh, it was the nursery and i decorated the um, entire nursery and then we had a leak in the ceiling from these kind of steel pipes so uh, the coal ceiling had to come down and this was the mess this was the kind of mess that came down with it. So the whole room that I decorated was entirely no good. And I would absolutely hate for that to happen to Emma and Jamie, you know. So we're just going to rip the pipes out and we're going to replace them with the copper pipes, which is a much, much better material to use. Um, I'd spotted a random TV aerial there in the loft as well. Um, okay, so the light fitting's there, but that is going to go um, and we also have to do some repair work to the party wall here because I don't know if you can see but there's actually bricks missing up here and that's a fire hazard so we are going to have to put some bricks in there and totally seal that off because if next door was to have a fire god forbid it would spread into this house very very easily through that so we will be rectifying that um, but yes this is like what I'll be cleaning up later um, it's, uh, it's really quite bad, isn't it, guys? <laughs> oh, dear. And it doesn't end there. It does not end there. I'll have to make sure I'm wearing protective mask and goggles um, to clean this. But it doesn't end there, guys, because this is the bathroom currently. Mm -hmm. And we have no ceiling in here either. Um, David's pulled the ceiling down in here. What, did Jamie help pull the ceiling yeah, down as well? Jamie, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, Jamie and David's pulled the ceiling down in here and this is what we're faced with in here. Um, which, yeah, it's going to have spotlights in so we need to order the material, the plasterboard and um, there's David there. He's got a fresh clean mask on. Yeah. Believe me, this is clean okay. compared to the one that he was wearing. I'll show you it. Stood in the shower and ran black. <laughs> uh -huh, they were absolutely filthy we should have got a picture of yours actually <laughs> but they were absolutely filthy they were um so yes this is like the um bathroom ceiling now so we will be open plan <laughs> <laughs> yeah um and that's all the electric cable and which is all going to get renewed um, well half of it's coming out yeah that's the old shower cable uh-huh yeah because uh, that was the old shower cable from it being in, um, an electric shower. Hence and the, now, uh, the box. Yeah, and that's the old box. So but they've out. never took it out. You know, the, it's just, just there is no electric shower. No. Um, as you know, it's a combi. It works from the co the combi boiler, yes, which again needs renewing. Um, both shower and boiler. But that's further down the line. Well, the boiler isn't, but the shower. And, um, and yeah, this is the window sill. As you can see. You can see some of it. And this is the floor. You can see some of it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's not much going on in that room at the minute. But um so I'll have to as soon as David's finished with these ceilings, so what he's doing is um he's just taking the edge. All can you see where the coffin is? He's just yeah. ribbing all of our edges for a cleaner Taking finish. The nails out. Taking Take the nails tidying out. Tidying yeah. up ready for the new board to go in. Yeah, so as soon as he's done that, I can get in here and start cleaning it. Um, at least a first clean, a basic clean, and then it'll not be like pristine because obviously the new ceiling's got to go up and that creates mess. So, anyway, enough of me talking, and um, I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to uh, mix some cement um, and do the outdoor job. I'll show you what Nate's doing. Let dear forget on with that. Right out here, it's the window sill, and um, I've this was all broken, so I've chipped it all back here, and um, I'm going to be filling this, filling all this window in with new sand and cement mix, and then obviously I'm going to be sanding all of this off as well and uh, ready for a quarter paint. Right guys, I've got my sander. I've just attached a, um, a sand and piece of sand and paper on there and I've got the cable there. So I'm gonna go outside and start sanding. Okay, so it's turned out that um, these bricks were all loose. 
so we've took what three bricks out of there? Two, two bricks two. out of there. Two, yes. Two, yes. <laughs> two bricks out of here. Um, and we're going to have to fill all of this. And yeah, one job turns into five. Oh, if you're lucky. <laughs> So this is my job to clean all of this up. <laughs> yeah, David, look at David's face. <laughs> they were absolutely covered like this. Turn around, David. And um, him and Jamie were covered from top to bottom. And um, little sooty. So, uh, so he's going to take this out above the stairway. We're going to see what's behind here. I know what's behind here. Hardboard. Well, the hardboard needs to come out. There should be. There should be nothing behind it, apart from a frame, some stud work. And then the wall should be right set back. Oh, it's oh okay. Bordering on the ridiculous. <laughs> sure is. Yeah. I thought there'd be stud work, but I thought there was going to be plasterboard on top of stud work because that's what you would normally get. <laughs> but as with acetate, does nothing normal in this house. <laughs> Isn't there not? Okay, so we're going to break through this plus, uh, plywood, it looks like, or hardboard. Just like that. I just hope it's a nice clean wall behind. Watch your fingers. Oh yeah. Yeah, if all else feels a crowbar does the job. If that's a, a bigger crowbar. <laughs> yeah. Stood work. No, no stood work is there? Well, I think there's a fight. Two buttons. Uh -huh. <laughs> this should open the passageway up lovely. Oh wow! Narnia! Uh huh, yeah. <laughs> Goes right back, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. I think she might want a light feature down that stairway. So put some electrics in for her. So what? David will show you. Exactly what's behind because he's on the ladder and I'm not. So do you want to just point the camera in? Down. There you go. Yuck. A bit yucky, but A it's going to open this area up uh, lovely. Oh, yeah. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Hasn't seen the light of day in a few years. 
That's going to be lovely though when it's um, finished. So yes, we're just going to pull the rest of this out and then this bit that comes down the stairs. Um, I'll show you when David's um, finished pulling this out. Oh, it's not polystyrene. It blinking is. Oh, no. Polystyrene uh, architrave. No way. Oh, oh, oh. Absolutely not. I was thinking it was going to be wooden. Yeah, I thought it was going to be wooden. Oh, no. Well, it might actually come out easier with a big polystyrene. Right. Or okay. care. We can reposition them over like this. Yeah. Actually, a huge space behind That's take this. Out a lot of and um, do you know what? You can actually. Um, oh, no, 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 no. What, what, what? Will that not create a lot of damage to the wall? I'm thinking, saw it. It's just kind of being on my buttons, you know. I remember I put this in in my house um, when I first, very first moved there, and then, you know, years later I ended up taking it back out and having that big huge space here, which just opens it up and it's brilliant for when you want to get your furniture in and up the stairs and things because this is like creates a problem because you haven't got much head height. I was going to say, does anybody who used to live in it just have small furniture? I know, I don't know how they ever got furniture upstairs, to be, to be fair. Yeah. But look at this massive open space. I mean, it's lovely. Well, it will be once we get rid of the cot. She could actually put a gallery wall on here. You know, that would be really nice, a gallery wall. So, is it not screwed in? It is. But it's just, ew, wow. I mean, look at how easy everything is just coming off. There's just no resistance whatsoever for anything, is there? No, that? Resistance, no is resistance useless. These cobwebs are, oh my goodness, how long have they been now, dear? But I'm thinking years and years. I mean, that's good work, isn't really... Yeah. Right, okay, let's... Um... Cool. So I'm going to show you from the, the bottom, like walking down the stairs and where it looks like. Um, so... That's where it made see the scene and where it's been. Feels very, very old. So, just watch my foot and my face dies. Okay. So that's what it looks like down here. So you can see how much space they've gained. How much ceiling height that they've gained by just taking that out. And to have like a beautiful light feature, you know, because um, I'm still looking for a, a light feature for mine. And I haven't managed to find one. Well, I have, but it was so expensive and I refused to pay that. But like a beautiful light feature, you know, hanging down here would be really, really nice. Wait until I send this to Emma. <laughs> 
yes i hope you've enjoyed this week's video and um, if you have please give me a like and uh, please tune in again next week for the next um installment shall we say uh because we're around there at the weekend again and uh we'll be doing play oh it's a magpie <laughs> so one you want on it's the one <laughs> um yes yeah, so we'll be back around there this weekend and we'll be doing more work on the property and i'll show you what we do this weekend next friday <laughs> so guys thanks very much for joining me today and i'll see you next time have a wonderful weekend everyone and until next time take care bye bye bye